Hey guys, it's Andrew with AndroidCentral.com and I'm going to show you how Open Garden works to connect multiple devices and create mesh tethering networks. Um, the basic idea of the app is to work with multiple devices to pool network connections so you get faster connections on all the devices, presumably. Um, this differs a little bit from normal tethering apps. Um, that turn one device into the host and the other devices into clients. This um, works in multiple directions and it works on tablets and phones. So we've got a Nexus 7 and a Nexus 4 here. And let's um, go ahead and open it up here on the Nexus 4. So it's asking me if I would like to turn on Bluetooth. Uh, the new Open Garden uses Bluetooth tethering. Um, to tunnel traffic between the devices. Older versions, uh, I believe, used Wi-Fi, but um, they've switched to just Bluetooth for now. Uh, you go ahead and hit yes, and it will turn it on. And so now we see the Nexus 4 is connected to the internet. And we've also got it on the Nexus 7 here, and you open it, and it'll ask me to turn on Bluetooth as well. And you say yes, and then you'll see things link up. So it's asking me if I would like to create a VPN connection between the Nexus 4 and the Nexus 7. So what it does is it creates a VPN between the two devices so that when the data actually goes out to the network it looks like it's coming from the Nexus 4 instead of the Nexus 7. So you hit OK and now you see Nexus 7 through the Nexus 4 to the internet. It gives you the nice map. And if you were to have more devices, it would um, show the different dots, the different lines of showing where everything's all connected. So we can go to androidcentral.com and we could refresh it and you'll see it starts loading. And you also see on the Nexus 4 at the same time that the amount of data used is going up. So you get a good idea of how much data is being transferred around. And you see that um, Android Central loads. So. That's the most basic setup. That's kind of what you would normally get with a regular Bluetooth tether, which would work great if everybody had a Nexus 4 and a Nexus 7 or other Nexus devices that um, the carriers don't know about when they tether, but not everybody does. So this works as a good, uh, um, a good option for people to uh, get things moving between the devices uh, without having to turn on the native Bluetooth tethering. So if I were to go into the Nexus 4 here and turn Wi-Fi on, we'll show the other plus here of Open Garden, which is when you have multiple connections, you see that you have the Nexus 7 and the Nexus 4 connected to the internet. They're both connected to the internet and sharing between each other as well. So the idea is that this should um, pull the connections um, doesn't make too much sense on two devices, but if you're pulling connections between multiple devices, um, it, it kind of helps. It's kind of a load balancing deal, really, if you had multiple HSPA connections or something and you wanted to um, harness them all so that you could um, get some better speeds, that would be a good option. So, for example, if you have the Nexus 7 and the Nexus 4 in your computer all connected, they could talk to each other and um, work to load balance over Wi Fi and HSPA. It's an interesting idea for sure. So if we turn that back off, you're gonna go back to the um, basic connection. So that's the basic idea when we're talking between the phone and the, uh, the phone and the tablet, but it does the same thing with the computer. You download a little tool for Windows or Mac and it basically does the same thing, creates a Bluetooth tether with a VPN connection. Your computer has to have Bluetooth. Like I said, they don't do Wi-Fi anymore, which is a bit of a bummer. Not everybody does, but um, if this is the easiest way for them to do it, then that's that's the way they're gonna do it. The one problem I do have on the Android side is there's no easy way to just disconnect. This is kind of, they're, they're meaning for it to just be on all the time. And the problem is, you know, you hit the settings button and that's it, You're, there's no disconnect button. The best way I've found is to not go and force close it because it's just gonna start again, but if you just go into Bluetooth and turn off the Bluetooth, your Nexus 7 disappears, you're, you're no longer connected. So that's kind of the best way that I've found to 
get the connection to um, get cut off because you don't want these things accidentally connecting and running up a bunch of uh, data pl um, data costs on your phone if you know you're at home and you know you you want things to just be on your regular home Wi-Fi. So that's one thing that they can definitely improve. But that aside, the idea is fantastic and it can help a lot of people use their network connections the way that they want to without having to pay uh, extra unnecessary tethering fees or things of that nature. So this is a really good option and I hope that they can improve it in the future. So this is um, your look at Open Garden and uh, thanks for uh, watching everybody.